Five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention, all districts of five alarm fire. Five bells move in immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Firefighters. Presenting Firefighters, the true to life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the Demon of Fire. In a moment, we'll join Chief Cody and rookie fireman Tim Collins in the warehouse near the waterfront, where they face perhaps the weirdest adventure yet encountered. A short time ago, the rescue company had answered an alarm to find the job they faced this time was rounding up a group of monkeys swarming over the site of a building. But it turned out to be something besides a joking matter, for these rhesus monkeys have been sent here for scientific study, and the success of the medical experiments they're intended for depends on their being captured and turned over to the doctors of the city. We'll move into the middle of this weird adventure right after the following message. Let's go, firefighters. Let's join Chief Cody and rookie fireman Tim Collins in the huge warehouse, where, by using streams of water from the department's hose, the monkeys have been driven down from the side of the building, through the door, and into the cages, which are now closed. That is, half of them are. The rest are hiding somewhere in this crowded cavern of a room. No man is anxious to go poking around for the missing monkeys, but they remember what happened to Tim's pal, Mushnosky got a bad case of fleas from one of the monkeys and had to be rushed off for emergency dusting. But as Chief Cody is saying now... Well, the hunt is on again, Tim. Listen to those critters carrying on in the cages. Yes, sir. We got half of them, but our job is still far from finished. Yes, sir. Well, the door's closed, the exit's blocked. Plenty of firemen around to keep a lookout, Chief. Only how we find them? We'll just have to smoke them out, son. We can't sit around till they come out. That may be days from now. Yes, sir. Well, I guess I'd better get myself a pair of those heavy gloves, sir, and start searching dark corners up there in the rafters. No, that'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Well, what else can we do, sir? No, I don't know. But I think I know someone who might. Spider Jones, the famous monkey man. Yeah. The monkey man? Well, I, I don't mean that quite the way it sounds. He's human enough, although he is a character. He just might be able to give us the answer. I hope so, sir. If this story gets in the papers, how we let a bunch of monkeys make a monkey out of the fire department, we'll be the laughing stock of the town. Yes, yes, I see what you mean. And more important, these doctors are depending on these monkeys to finish their medical experiments. That's right, sir. And our only hope of corralling them now is Spider Jones. Well, I'll set a guard here, Tim, and then we'll roll. Minutes later, the chief's bright red car is racing toward the city zoo, where the chief explains to Tim the famous monkey man can be found on any sunny day. And sure enough, Spider Jones sits in front of the monkey house, a heavy-set man with beetling brows and long arms, looking not unlike the animals he's an authority on. When the chief explains his problem, Spider turns to the cage and says... Here, these are the rhesus monkeys in this here cage, Chief Cody. You hear what they're saying? No, and I don't want to, Spider. I've heard enough from those we got in the warehouse. Let's get away from here. I know how you feel, Chief. How about that bench over there? Yeah, all right. They heard every word you two said. And they don't like it too much. Naturally, an expert like you can understand every word, Spider. Well, what did they say? Well, they said... Uh, you sure you didn't get it, son? Oh, not not me, Spider. A- any reason why I should? Well, yes, now you mention it. Seems like you and the chief ought to speak their language. Well, From what I hear, you've had plenty of experience with monkeys today. Well, have your fun, Spider. Only for Pete's sake, tell us what to do. <laughs> Imagine the fire department coming to old Spider for advice. Well, well, we run into a lot of things, but this is a bit out of our line. Uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be. That training school of yours, chief... Why don't you put in a course on monkey control? I'd be willing to teach your rookies uh, for a slight fee, of course. Spider, this is serious. 
These monkeys were shipped to this country for a very important scientific experiment. Mystery of one of our most dreaded diseases may be solved, and countless lives saved if we recapture these animals. Well, that sounds right important. And if old Spider can help in any way... Why, you can, sir. Tell us how to catch him. Well, uh, that not to be too difficult. Uh, tried bananas? Oh, yes, yes, and it didn't work. Right now, they're, they're in a warehouse. We could probably get nets over them if we could smoke them out into the open. Yeah, big warehouse. Uh, lots of places for them to hide. Yeah, that's yeah. right, sir. I, is there any way to bring them out into the open where we can nab them? Well, might be. I'd have to see the place to tell. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Yeah, firemen always in a rush. Now, I got to go back to the monkey house first and get their advice. Now, look, Spider, I know you better than that. You can pretend all you want to, but I think you've already made up your mind what we'll have to do. Yeah, maybe so. But I still need a couple of minutes to myself. Uh, you will see why later. I'll meet you back here in five minutes. A few minutes later, Chief Cody's car is approaching the warehouse again at breakneck speed. Spider Jones is sitting in the back seat quietly, calmly, as though racing through the streets was an everyday affair for him. The moment the car breaks to a stop, Chief Cody and Tim are out of it, hurrying toward the huge closed door of the warehouse. The spider ambles on behind and lets them push it open. Come on, Spider. Get in here quick. If one of those monkeys should dash past us, I'd be off full man. They won't. Very few things could pry them loose from their hiding places right now. Uh, you, you can see your problem, sir. It's not very light in here, and there are a million hiding places. Behind those bales and boxes and crates and... Uh, uh, well, did, did, I, did I say something funny? Uh, no, but just look at your men standing around this place, Chief. Collars pulled up, helmets pulled down. You should hear what my friends in those cages are saying about human beings. I don't give a hang what they're saying. Can you blame my men for not feeling comfortable with a pack of monkeys loose in the dark here? I don't mean to rile you, Chief. Well... Uh, only didn't it ever uh, come into your mind those monkeys are a lot more afraid of you uh, than you are of them? Oh, well, I suppose you're right, sir, but that doesn't help us solve the problem of how to catch them. You just leave that to be. I've handled monkeys from Rangoon to Rapid City, South Dakota. Well, I remember one now, time... Now, come on, uh... Spider, come on. None of your stories. We can't stay here forever playing nursemaid to a pack of monkeys. Now, we're, we're pretty sure they're all in here. Yeah, yes, sir. The streams of water we played on them outside drove them right through the door. Oh, they're here all right. You're sure? Uh, I mean, how can you tell? Oh, I can smell them. You can't fool an old carnival and circus man like me. Nobody's trying to fool you, Spider. The point is, can you fool those doggone critters into coming out in the open where we can net them? Nope. Nobody can fool a rhesus monkey. They're a lot smarter than a lot of people I know. Well, then there's... There's nothing we can do. Why, sure there is, Tim. I uh, hate to do it, but uh, there's no other sure way. Well, what do you want us to do? Uh, first, uh, get those monkeys in the cages out of here and uh, your uh, smoke eaters, too. <laughs> I, I don't think they'd like the way you put them together in the same breath, sir. Uh, who? Uh, the firemen or the monkeys? That's all right, Spider. You know what you're planning? Uh, sure. And I got my doubts as to... Who would be the most scared, the men or the monkeys? Now, the three of us will uh, stay here with these nets you spoke about. Oh, but how will you get them out into the open where we can net them? That's easy. Now, the second thing you do is to call the zoo. Tell the head keeper I've looked the place over, and it's the only way. What's the only way? To play on their sense of fear, of course, Chief. Oh, now, look, Spider, before I blow my top, how do you play on a monkey's sense of fear? A python, of course. Uh... A who? Python. Didn't you ever hear of a python, young feller? You, you, you mean, you mean the big snake? That's it. While you were phoning, I fixed it up so we could borrow one from the zoo. They'll send him over. I hope you know what you're doing, Spider. Nothing else in the world will pry those monkeys out of their hiding places. They hate and fear snakes like poison. They're scared now. now this is the only thing that'll make them scared of. They'll come out in the open chattering like human beings. Uh, of course, if you're scared... Oh, uh... don't be silly. If that's the only way, it's... Well, it's the only way. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Well, I guess it's a good idea. 
You don't look like you meant it. <laughs> Neither of you. Uh, risk your life every day of the week, and right now you're nervous as kittens over a few old monkeys and one big old snake. <laughs> I'll be a monkey's uncle if you ain't. Yes, sir, a monkey's uncle. Well, personally, I wouldn't blame the chief and Tim if they were a bit nervous, would you? But if this is the only way to bring the animals out of hiding where they can be recaptured, they'll do it. There's no doubt about that. Well, to see what happens, be sure to be with us for your next exciting episode of The Firefighters. In just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will return with a very important word for all of you boys and girls. But before that, a word from your announcer. Here's Chief Bob Cody with a special message for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Attention, firefighters. Here's a bit of advice I certainly hope you'll never have cause to use. If you should ever be present when a person's clothes catch on fire, remember two things they must not do. They must not run because it will fan the flames. And they must not remain standing because they may inhale the toxic fumes. The only way the victim can be helped is to lie down where the flames can be smothered with coats, blankets, rugs, or anything else of that nature. Remember, this might someday save a life, so don't ever forget it. Well, that's all for now. This is Chief Cody saying so long until next time. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear... That's it. Let's roll! Let's go! Firefighters! Firefighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.